Aloha and good morning. We're going to continue our talks on the lecture series that uh, we want to get into called fasting. And fasting, remember, can be anything you want to fast from. The most best aggressive, but then again, the most integrative way to fast is to be able to block fast. Block fasting, of course, is going a series of days, at least three, and block fasting is one of the best ways to be able to actually disconnect yourself from, from addictions, addictions that everybody has, because most people think they don't have addictions, but you have many. I had many. I still do. We all have addictions. Remember, addictions aren't all bad. Okay? Some addictions are good. So, you know, like addiction of uh, taking care of yourself, the addictions of uh, nourishing things, the addictions of uh, just feeling in love with everything. Okay? Those are good addictions. And the addiction of, of, of a lot of different uh, thoughts that we have why we do what we do <clears throat> is a big question within ourselves. Okay, remember, fasting is going to disconnect you from your addictions, and most of your addictions are caused by parasites. So that's pretty easy to grasp, okay, when you understand the power of parasites, the power. So fasting now, what you're going to do is what I've done and or what I try to share with people to recommend to do. Remember, it can be done a variety of different ways, but just to, to start to to do a, a graduation of a one-day fast is, is a big milestone, okay? Because once you do that, then you can keep on actually being more integrative with the true purpose and the therapy of fasting. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the car here, I have an air conditioner on here because if not, you can't hear the tires. So the positive ions really grab my throat. And that's a, another of course, booby trap in uh, trying to, to, you know, clean up your physiology and your act is to make sure that you uh, understand a lot of the, a lot of the toxicities where they're coming in. Okay, so fasting, what it does is it removes a lot of toxicity, so don't put it back in. So part of the awareness uh, of a lifestyle is to be able to navigate where you need to go and where you should go based on the amount of knowledge and practice that you bring into your world because you can gain knowledge but if you're not actually practicing it then you're not gaining anything okay so wisdom comes from practice so fasting real real easy here okay is try to try to do a fast one day a week one day sort of like your church, okay, is is going to be cleansed. And you're going to stop eating, and your body's going to just reverse its energy. It's going to switch its energy around. And when it does that, your body starts to go into a phase called, well, no glucose. No glucose, meaning that there's no sugar in your body, and it has to figure out other sources of fuel. The parasites that live in your body are going to go ahead and be the biggest obstacle that you'll ever have uh, from doing a fast. The toxicity that comes out of your body when you get a fast is the turbulence that your body will feel, but the parasites will give you what, what will connect into your mind. You're going to have a lot of feelings in your mind that you need to have this or you need to have that. Your body, when it starts to detoxify, it starts to feel nauseated. It starts to, you know, get sick. Maybe sitting on the toilet a long time, headache. Okay, these types of physical symptoms. But you'll have mental symptoms, and those, remember, observe. Those are your parasites. It's very important to understand this. The parasites <clears throat> control our minds. Okay, they control a lot of our feelings. Our body complains a lot and that's usually because it's becoming toxic or because what lives inside us which are the parasites besides us they also control the areas that they live in okay remember when you fast what you're going to do is you're going to start cutting off supply of of fuel to creatures that live in the body all creatures everything even you 
So your body's smart enough to be able to feed upon itself, but the creatures inside, they'll, well, they're not going to get fed anymore, okay? At least for a short period of time. And you're going to feel their, their schism, okay? You're going to feel depressed. You're going to feel hollow. You're going to feel empty. You're going to feel frustrated, maybe uh, disappointed, or little problems may turn into big problems, okay? Why? It's because the energy fields that are in your body with you, the parasites, if they're not getting fed, then you are feeling their frustration. You need to know that, okay? Don't cave in. Half of doing the fasting and breaking the spell of the parasites that control many of our thoughts, feelings, actions, desires, uh, this is the best way and the only way I have found to be able to disconnect the parasite mind control okay that is, everybody has and, and as good as these parasites are remember you will never know that this is happening to you until you disconnect yourself from these layers of control you will never know that you were under control okay you will never know that ever it's a seamless system, meaning that you'll never be able to feel it. It's invisible. Once you disconnect and go through the, the, the disillusion, okay, the break down of the connection that the parasite has on us, you, me, everybody, is dependent on their connection of the fuel that they need to be able to keep their energy fields to a certain layer and to keep your energy field at a certain layer. So when you fast, what you're doing is, is you're cutting off your fuel, their fuel supply. Your fuel supply doesn't get cut off. It just switches over to eating itself, okay? Anything that's available, it'll use for energy. And of course, fasting doesn't mean that you're, you're gonna not have any liquids. You're gonna f flood your body with liquids. I'm drinking this liquid right now. This is a Kamu Kamu liquid. And this is what I call the immunity booster. And my drink has MSM. It has liquid minerals, magnesium, silica, distilled water, big spoon of Kamu Kamu, hibiscus flower water. And this is a beautiful drink. I just put it on YouTube. Look up Dr. Robert Kassar, immune booster, Kamu Kamu. And this is something really good, again, to add to your liquids. There's no sugar in here. I put a few drops of stevia to make it taste better. Remember, you can do fasts other than just doing them with, with just water. <clears throat> and that's what I want to get into. As long as you can break one day's worth of just, just really being, being true to yourself, you're going to say to yourself the night before that you're going to go 24 hours without whatever you're going to do. If it's without food, without meat, uh, without sodas, without smoking, without doing something. But I want you to, you know, to make yourself a, a promise that, that you're going to be able to do this. And how you beat your desires, your addictions, your parasites calling for food. Remember, cigarettes, when you feed them, they feed on tobacco, uh, which is the nicotine. Okay, you're feeling feeling their desire to feed and when you fast and when you need the field to feed then you drink your liquids your liquids okay a variety of liquids if you're just doing it a water fast then I would suggest doing it with distilled water works the best and if you're gonna start a fast you want to start it on on the new moon not the full moon. The full moon, the parasites have the most power. That's why most people have a lot of addictions more uh, than any other time of the month when the moon is at its full cycle, when it's at its full power. Parasites have their full power at the full moon. You have your most power at the new moon, so this is the time to be able to do fast. This is the time to be able to change things you want to change in your world that you don't like about your world, do them on the new moon, okay? Get that concept in your head one more time. It's real simple. Remember, full moon is 
remember when all the crazies come out. If you worked in the emergency hospital, if you worked at the fire department, you'll notice that full moon comes around. Nobody wants to work that shift because it's going to be a full pack shift. I know I used to work in the emergency hospital for several years. So the full moon makes uh, all the, the undesirables, the, the bullies inside your body have the power that now they have over you. They live in dysfunction, they live in doubt, they live in uh, sin, they live in, in adventure, in all different adrenaline, okay? This is this system. It feeds at this time when the full moon is out. It is true. Your whole power is to be able to disconnect your parasites that live inside you, slowly, just like they went ahead and actually creeped up inside you. Learn the protocols, okay, a little bit at a time. Learn the skin cleaning protocols. Why? Because you want to get all billions of passengers off your skin. You'll be able to pass toxicity through your skin. You'll be able to put the correct lubricants and protectants on your skin. And you'll start to move around the lymph and your, your body will start to actually be more conductive. More conductive, more conductivity means that you'll feel better. Okay, so the fasting is basically putting in less toxicity and opening up your skin is letting out toxicity, taking off toxicity off your skin and then really rehydrating yourself daily and trying to really cut down on your calories. Okay, remember most of this is what I'm going on in the first few lectures here is to be able to get the mind straight. The only reason why you can't do the fast is not because your body can't do it. It could lock you up in a room for 30 days and just give you water and after 30 days you'll love me but the first 30 days you'll say let me out of here and you'll be you'll be bent out of shape. You won't die. Your body will just clean itself. Okay, and you can't do a one day fast. Remember people come up to the Hawaiian retreats we have here, our detox fasting retreats uh, and they they do 7, 14, 21. We've had people do up to 30 days. Okay? Medically supervised fasting. Very smart to disconnect yourself from whatever lives inside yourself so you can get your life back. What a concept. Okay? And all you have to do is be in the right environment. We have thousands of pounds of crystals around the house to be able to help you dissolve also and let go of the emotional body when the physical body is, is in emotional distress from not being fed okay this works magically on people and of course you're not going to be able to do this right off the bat but this is why you do the intermittent fasting along the way uh, for two three four months it's really good for you to do this really calorie restrict your your uh, whole lifestyle for a while drink a lot more liquids Okay, start to, to really wish upon the life you want to have. Wish upon the life you want to have. Remember, the problems that we all have are because the body controls the mind. And the mind's too weak to be able to not overcome the body's needs. Remember, if we are the earth steward of ourself and we are our own physician and or doctor of ourselves, then we must practice and experiment on how to take back our power. Again, look in the mirror and see if you've got a infestation of different types of creatures we call body fat, live creatures. Okay, remember the fasting is going to shrink them down. The fasting is going to uprid toxicity of the body. The fasting is going to bring back your sanity slowly. Okay slowly, a little bit at a time. You don't get your sanity back all the time very quickly. Some people do, but most people, it's a slow process to, to take back your power. It can be done. It is a slow process, but you have to really, really be guided uh, and, and know that thousands of other people, know that thousands of other people have already taken this course of, of self-treatment. Remember, it's not just fasting 
that's that's how you get get your sanity back okay by by taking down a lot of the different needy creatures and and, and I call the the you know the the elusive characters that live inside our bodies you'll see lots of pictures of parasites that will share with you what they look like these are alien creatures remember that live inside our bodies and they do control our nervous system and most of our thoughts so you need to sort of get scared a little bit just to be able to understand you know what we're all up against we're all up against a you can make a sort of a movie out of this we're all up against a alien set of creatures that have crawled into sentient beings on planet earth and all of us are infected with these creatures living within our bodies as we have no idea that they do all sickness and all disease are mostly caused by these creatures including mental illness cancers cancer remember the alien creatures stage four cancer is when these alien creatures eat us to death and and we get a nice dose of morphine to be able to to not feel the pain of these creatures eating us to death remember slow kill are the parasites especially when you don't have the sense or the observations to be able to feel their <clears throat> calls when they call to feed inside you to ask you to feed them eat some more okay have some more of this I'm hungry again okay these are these are the, the biggest reasons okay for you to want to be able to fast want to be able to change your diet is to just get back your life to just really get back your life I've got back mine okay and I've been in this this business of health for over 30 years okay 35 years and all I can tell you is that the the number one picture that I found out okay in all of this is that we need to be able to learn how to take care of ourselves before we get sick because if once you get sick and we're all sick to a certain layer once you get sick though okay you're gonna have to really figure out what to do so just put your your smart caps on for a little while guys and just know that you do have to change the oil in your car and you do have to change the filters okay and when you do this this is something that you know that's right okay so so look at your body as a church and this church needs to be cleaned it needs to be be really cleaned and I'm talking about take all the elusive characters we call parasites out of the body not kill them you need to push them out you need to be smart here okay so we'll go into more of these these different types of philosophies but fasting remember one day a week okay try to fast until 12 o'clock every day with liquids I also have my breakfast tea right here you can see and that's full of psyllium it's got golden berries in there psyllium powder chia seeds yerba mate my minerals okay different types of really good cinnamon and nutmeg okay stevia coconut oil okay terrain modify yourself okay breakfast tea and then you have your liquids until at least 12. try to do liquids until three and try to do that every day for a few weeks and then when you do that try to fast for one full day one full day just water 24 hours and then have a you know don't gorge yourself after that try to stay away from sugar as much as you can and just eat yourself a medium-sized meal and eat it very slow okay give that a try and I'm going to my stretch class right now I'm late so okay beautiful day in Hawaii look at these beautiful palm trees right here and here's Hilo Bay okay there we go Aloha
Important reminder. All information and ideas are for informational purposes only and are in no way intended as medical advice or as a substitute for medical counseling. Earthshift Products, Dr. Robert Kassar, all of their partners, affiliates, and subsidiaries will not be held accountable for the use or misuse of the information presented therein. This information is not intended as medical advice. The authors, publishers, and speakers of this work are not medical doctors and do not recommend the use of mineral deficient foods, drugs, or medicines to achieve beauty and to alleviate health challenges. Because there is always some risk involved, all persons involved with the development and distribution of this information are not responsible for any adverse effects or consequences of any kind resulting from the use or misuse of any suggestions or procedures described on our website or Earthshift Live radio talk show or therein.